Have you ever wanted to buy curl farmers but never could decide which set to buy? Well, you don't have to wonder any longer. This video will show you each curl farmer set, how to moisturize, seal in the moisture, install curl formers, how to remove them, and how to separate your curls to reduce frizz. Stay tuned for heatless, bouncy, shiny curls. I'm using water to moisturize, a dimming brush. I'm using extra wide, wide, and narrow curl formers. Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Style Milk. My homemade whipped shea butter. And a styling hook that comes with the Curl Farmers Styling Kit. Here's a comparison of all three sizes. Each pack comes with two separate colors. One Curl Farmer rotates clockwise while the other rotates counterclockwise. The first step is moisturizing my hair with water. Next I'm going to be separating my hair based on the size of the curl former. For the spiral curls I'm using medium sized sections. For the extra wide curl formers I'm going to be using slightly larger sections and I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk for a lightweight hold. For the wide curl formers, I'm going to be using my homemade whipped shea butter. Now I'm going to be using my Dimming Brush to remove any tangles that I may have missed while in the shower. This step will help in reducing frizz while I'm in the process of separating the curls. To insert the curl former styling hook into the curl former, I take the curl former and squeeze the opening. This will allow the curl former styling hook to easily be inserted into the curl former. Now I'm taking the curl former styling hook, hooking that onto my section of hair, pushing the styling hook into the curl former while taking one hand and gently pulling the styling hook out the other end of the curl former. Now I'm just showing you that I'm doing the same for the wide curl former set. For the narrow curl formers, I'm also using my whipped shea butter. I'm using slightly smaller sections compared to the wide curl former set. Again, spraying my hair with water, adding whipped shea butter, detangling my hair with the Dimming brush, latching on that curl former hood to the section of hair, and gently pulling the hook out through the other end. Now for the wide curl formers, taking my section of hair, latching on the curl former hook, pushing that hook into the curl formers, and pulling the styling rod through the other end. Now I'm repeating this on all the sections of hair until I'm done.
As you can see, I ran out of the extra long curl formers, so I had to buy individual packs of long, narrow curl formers. Since my hair is almost as long as these, I had to straighten out the curl former until all my hair is contained within it. I used about 49 curl formers of the extra wide, 68 of the wide, and about 90 curl formers for the narrow. Yes, I'm kind of playing around here because I'm amazed at how many curl formers are in my head, but you can't tell that I'm a little bit nervous about how I'm going to sleep tonight. After air drying my hair for about eight hours, it's time to finally remove these from my head. As you can see, I have bouncy, lightweight curls, and I will be separating these at the very end of the video. But first, I wanna show you my results from the other two sets. When removing the curl former, just take the base of the curl former, pinch it until you have an opening, and gently slide the curl former down the section of hair. And I'm really excited about the results here as well. First impression of the narrow curl former set, these are not as easy to remove as the other two. And once again, I'm loving these results as well. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to style it. Before I separate, here's a close-up of each set. The Shea Moisture product is a great product, but when it comes to separating, there's a little bit of frizz. My hair feels soft, but I did notice the next day that my hair felt a little bit dry, which I'm not surprised because I know my hair does not really care too much for coconut oil. Along with the narrow set, this is my first time using the extra wide set of curl formers. Next time I use these extra wide set curl formers, I will be using my whip shea butter since I usually prefer the results I get while using that product. Time to separate the wide curl former set. My whip shea butter never fails when giving me the results I'm looking for. Last but not least, time to separate the narrow set. I even may separate this even further the next day to get a bigger, fuller look. Almost like a curly fro. I'm not quite sure if I want to wear this with a side part or with my bangs hanging in the front. Either way, they both look nice. So guys, there you have it. The Battle of the Curl Former Sets. 
If you are one who always wonder which set to buy, I hope this tutorial has helped you in determining which set you should buy. Let me know in the comment section below which set was your favorite. The extra wide slash barrel set, the wide slash spiral set, or the narrow slash corkscrew set. Until next time. <laughs>